If you think about banks, businesses, and organizations in general, almost all of them have something in common. Whether it be a CEO, an owner, or board of directors, they are almost all run by a central authority. A few make decisions on behalf of many. In the crypto world, unfortunately, this goes against the decentralized and autonomous nature of cryptocurrencies, blockchains and more. This leads to the question, in a world of decentralization, how are decisions made without a central authority? In today's video, we've got the answers and we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about decentralized autonomous organizations, better known as DAOs. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into everything you need to know about decentralized autonomous organizations. We'll examine what they are, what they do, and even take a look at a few examples. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. On April 30, 2016, the first DAO was launched when a group of developers created a new business model where decisions were made collectively, without a centralized authority. Simply known as the DAO, the organization relied on crowdfunding through token sales to pick up members and raise money. The idea became very popular and in a short amount of time, was able to attract approximately 11,000 token holders and more than $150 million in funds raised. Being the first of its kind, the DAO had a number of flaws and lost more than $50 million to hackers. Nevertheless, the idea of decentralized autonomous organizations was born and developed into the DAOs that we know today. Amongst many other things, the DAO was created to solve what is known as the principal agent problem. The problem arises when a person or entity, known as the agent, is tasked with making decisions and taking actions on behalf of another person or entity, known as the principal. If the agent has self-interests, they may act in a way that is not beneficial to the principal. Furthermore, the principal may never be aware that decisions of the agent are being made that are not in their best interests. DAOs solve these problems by eliminating the agents or central authorities. DAOs are instead community-led and are fully autonomous and transparent. They are said to operate on what is known as a flat hierarchy, meaning everyone has a stake and no singular person or entity retains control. Smart contracts lay out the rules and automatically execute the agreed-upon decisions. Voting, proposals, and the code itself can be publicly audited at any time. With traditional organizations utilizing centralized authorities, changes can be made by either a single individual or small group of individuals based on their authority. Voting is typically conducted internally and manually, and matters are handled privately. DAOs can be very much the opposite. A change can only be done by way of consensus from members. Voting is done automatically without the use of central authorities, and matters are all handled publicly and transparently. Let's dive a little bit deeper into exactly how DAOs work. As previously mentioned, DAOs operate by way of smart contracts. When a DAO is first created, the rules of the DAO are written into the smart contract, which automatically executes once certain actions or events take place. It's important that the smart contract code be extensively tested because it can only be changed or modified through group voting after the DAO is launched. Once the rules are established, the DAO will need to receive funding. Funding is typically done through token issuance with token holders being given voting rights that is proportional to their holdings or the amount that they donate in fiat currency. In this manner, the DAO treasury is filled. Once funding is completed, the DAO's code is deployed to the blockchain, sending it into production. From this point, the original developers will no longer retain control and any changes or modifications can only be done by collective voting of the members. There are typically two types of memberships with each one determining how voting works and its outcomes. The first of these is a token-based membership. These types of memberships are fully permissionless and typically used to govern decentralized protocols. Tokens are distributed out through decentralized exchanges. The other type is known as share-based. These memberships govern human-involved activities, such as fundraising and charities. Members are granted voting rights based on their shares. 
One of the unique properties of a DAO is that all group members share in the rewards of the DAO, providing a vested interest in ensuring that it runs as effectively as possible. There are many different types of DAOs, each designed for specific purposes. Here's a quick look at three of the most popular ones. Number 1. MakerDAO. MakerDAO is best described as an independent financial system running on the Ethereum blockchain. It is part of a larger system known as the Maker Protocol and allows people to lend and borrow using cryptocurrencies without the use of a middleman. Number 2. BitDAO. BitDAO seeks to build a decentralized token economy. It seeks to attract developer talent by way of token swaps and the allure of co-development opportunities. It hopes to support a wide range of projects including gaming, NFTs, and DeFi in the form of research and development and funding and liquidity bootstrapping. Number 3. Uniswap DAO. The Uniswap DAO boasts a $1.6 billion treasury and has over 310,000 members. Uni holders can submit a proposal, but must garner 25,000 yes votes before it can advance for further deliberation. After a number of additional steps, any proposal receiving 40 million yes votes will be adopted. There are many different categories of DAOs as well, including DAO operating systems, media DAOs, protocol DAOs, and investment DAOs. For all the wonderful upsides that DAOs have the potential to bring, they aren't without a few downsides. First, it is very difficult to fix bugs once a code is finished and published to the blockchain. By their nature, blockchains are immutable. This creates a significant challenge in the event that there is a problem with the code. Secondly, because consensus must be reached in order to push through a proposal, it can take significantly longer for decisions to be made. DAOs can be less adaptable to change as well. Due to its decentralized nature, decision-making in response to quickly changing conditions can be delayed and limit the DAO's ability to quickly respond to challenges and opportunities. While still very much in their infancy, DAOs offer some promise. Centralized authorities have long been the norm when it comes to traditional businesses and organizations. But there is an attractive concept with taking the power of a few and distributing it to the many. DAOs have amazing potential to transform the way that traditional businesses and systems operate. Still, DAOs are not without a few challenges. A few of these challenges, if addressed properly, may be the difference in whether or not DAOs become the norm and eventually replace traditional centralized authorities. And that's all that we have for this video. We hope you got a better understanding of decentralized autonomous organizations and the huge potential that they have to replace traditional centralized authorities. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next video.